Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison out of stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I have some beautiful cards to share with you tonight. I'm kind of excited because I also have a card challenge for you. You guys have loved these card challenges in the past, so I'm excited to bring you another one. Hi Chris, hi Heather, welcome Vicki. So, hope you guys had a nice weekend. We had a nice weekend. It was a busy weekend for me. I had a stamping event in Greenville yesterday for demonstrators. It was super fun. I gave a presentation on taking your business online. And then I also did my pigment sprinkles demonstration to show everybody how those work. I've shown those to you guys. So that was really fun. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Betty. Jenny, welcome. So, um, had a little trouble with Facebook again. Hmm. I got put on probation, not in jail this time. <laughs> but last night at about, it was almost 11 o'clock, I was going through my news feed, like on my personal Facebook page, looking at all my friends and what they're up to over the weekend and um, liking their stuff, liking their pictures. And then... I commented on one of my good customers from Arizona, or Arizona, from Florida. She had changed her profile picture. It was a wonderful picture of Eris. Eris, you got me in trouble. No, you, you didn't get me in trouble. But um, So I clicked on like, and then I left a comment, and I said, great photo, happy birthday. And I immediately got... Um, uh, penalized and Facebook told me that I could not react to anybody's posts for 24 hours like what <laughs> like that's what we're supposed to be doing right we're supposed to be clicking that like button clicking on the heart clicking on the Wow commenting on people's stuff and that's what I did so at least Facebook told me what my um my infraction was and it actually came up and said it was because I posted a comment on Eris's Facebook page which it did not post so they they took it off and um and I wasn't allowed I'm I'm still not allowed until 11 o'clock tonight to click on anybody's likes so if you've been sharing pictures today um I have probably seen them because I did do a run through Facebook. I like to see what's going on and I can't click on like. <laughs> so, and it said it had something to do with, they, they felt that I was using a software that was clicking on a bunch of likes because I must have liked too much stuff. I can't win. But anyways, I was really happy to know that I could get on Facebook Live tonight because I was thinking I wasn't gonna be able to do this. Um, it won't let me um, click on like, but I think I can comment on other things. Like, I think I've commented on my own groups. I know. Sharon says, I think they've gone nuts. I know, like, this is the whole point of Facebook is to share and like. And I don't know. I just am on probation. <laughs> so I have to be very careful now. Whatever. Share. Give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Marie says you look great. I feel um, very well rested. I do have to say I'm really full. I'm still full. Like we ate at five o'clock and I'm still full. So that tells you I ate way too much. But um, Anna and the girls and her husband Scott came over today and um, the weather wasn't very great here in Wisconsin, but it was nice and warm and sunny. It's always like 10 degrees warmer in my backyard. So I turned the pool heater on and the kids, um, well, Molly swam. She's the only one. Steve had kind of a rough day today. He was not feeling well. He woke up with chills and not feeling good at all. And um, he was a little crabby. Kelly doesn't do good with crabby Steve. <laughs> I like happy Steve. So I took good care of him and I went and did some grocery shopping. So he has his fruits and vegetables and I fed him several times today and, you know, got the ice bags and refreshed the water and got the coffee and, and all the good things. So he is now out in his garage where he likes to spend his time. That's, that's his man cave. And he is out there watching probably golf if it's not over. He's been watching golf all weekend. 
He's a golfer. He loves golf. And um, I think that he just, his knee hurt really bad today. And I think it had a lot to do with yesterday. We had a whole bunch of people over um, for a cookout after my thing in Greenville. <laughs> I came home to a party at my house, which I love. And um, Steve came outside and sat with everybody for several hours. And I think it had a lot to do with him, you know, sitting in a different position. He wasn't in his chair with his wedge under his leg. And so, yeah, and Jackie says chills aren't good. Jackie, I really think that it's the medication that's causing the chills because he has hot flashes too. And um, they're not consistent. Like, he, I don't think he had them the rest of the day. It was just this morning. So we're going, I think we have to go to physical therapy tomorrow and we'll check that out. But yeah, you know, we're so on guard about the knee thing because he's had such rotten luck with all of this, all these surgeries um, before. So anyways, don't worry. I'm taking good care of him. I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> um, yeah. And you guys know that it's really not my thing, right? But we have to do what we have to do, right? Charlene's saying call the doctor too. Yeah. I don't think he's going to do that. Um, oh, the FedEx Championship is over. Rory McElroy won it. Good for him. I heard it was worth $15 million, I believe. Or there was a $10 million difference between first place and second place. That's a lot of money. So does he have a fever? No, he doesn't have a fever. That's the thing. It's real weird. Hi, Katie Schmidt. <laughs> so anyways... Taking good care of him. I think he's okay. And we do go to physical therapy tomorrow. So I'll make sure he sleeps good tonight. And well, I can't make him sleep good. Like I sleep like a rock star always. But <laughs> him not so much. I just think people need to learn how to sleep better. <laughs> I have mastered that. Yeah, Cindy, I don't think it's an infection yet. I really think it is from his medication that he's getting the chills and the hot flashes. And then it seems like once I give him food, then he's better. So I, I think he's going to be okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, N Nurse Kelly. I have hair tickling my back. So just hang on because it's like, ah, what's going on? Ooh. Um, yeah. Hi, Sarah Henning. I'm so sorry. Sarah usually comes over on the weekends and she was sick this weekend. I hope you're feeling better. There's a lot of people sick right now with... Um, like colds. My Stephanie couldn't come this weekend, my stepdaughter Stephanie, because she's sick in bed with sniffles and colds and sore throat and ugh, ugh. Anyways, I am going to get on with our um, winners from last week. Yeah, Heather says, have him call the nice people at Walgreens. Heather works at Walgreens, so it's always so cute. Oh, by the way, I have a ton of cards to share with you. I have so many cards, it is almost tipping over my little basket that I put the cards in every week. So I will be um, sharing those at the end. And Michael Deal, I have been thinking about you. Where have you been, my friend? I haven't seen you on here in so long. I'm so happy to see you watching tonight. So, okay, we have winners from last no last week. Now, you can win by leaving comments as you are right now. If you guys are watching, whether you're watching now or watching later, after the live is over, please leave a comment letting me know that you have watched because that en enters you into a drawing for a prize. So, we have... Mercy Burks is our winner from last week for commenting, and she's going to get some of these adorable little candle embellishments. I just love these. They just add so much to your project. So thank you all for your comments. Mercy, you are the winner. And then we have Jeannie. I never know how to say Jeannie's last name. Calmus. Jeannie Calmus from right here in Menasha, Wisconsin. You are winning the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. And Jeannie, I don't know if you knew this or not, but you won some decorative paper at some point, And I have it in my bin ready to come to Stamp Club tomorrow night because I will see Jeannie tomorrow night at Stamp Club. So congratulations, Jeannie. This is for sharing. So please make sure that you're clicking on that share button while you're, whether you're watching live now, whether you're watching the replay later, or whether you are watching on YouTube later please click on that share button. And Denise, Denise was here yesterday for our party too. Hi, Denise. <laughs> and there's my Aunt Janet just popped in. Wow, this is a great night. I'm glad I took a shower. 
I was looking pretty rough, you guys. So we also have one more drawing, and that is for any orders that have been placed since last week. You also get entered into a drawing for that. That prize is always bigger, and our winner from last Sunday is Donnie Drew from Gladstone, Missouri. Donnie, oh, I see that. Hang on, I've got to mirror my screen so things aren't backwards. How about that? Yay! Donnie, you're gonna win this floral essence. This is a beautiful stamp set in the new annual catalog. So, um, if you guys did not get your catalog, hang on, I'm gonna get rid of this on my screen because it's bugging me. If you didn't get your holiday mini catalog yet, you should have had it by now if I sent it to you in the mail. And if you did not get this yet and you would like a hard copy, please let me know and I'd be happy to mail it. If you're local, let me know and I will put one on the front porch. You can grab it anytime you're going through the area. So, yeah, this thing is beautiful. I've been making tons and tons and tons of swap cards. I think I have done 120 swap cards <laughs> with products out of this new mini catalog and I can't hardly wait to show them to you. That catalog goes live on September 4th. So I keep telling people September 1st, but it's not. It's the 4th. I don't know what I'm thinking. I always think the first of the month, right? Okay, then um, I have a layout challenge for you guys tonight. So the last card that we're going to be making is going to be the layout challenge. And um, this is what you're going to be winning. This really cool brick and mortar 3D embossing folder for the winner. So I'll give you all the details about that. And was it um, Megan just asked about my elbow? Yeah, look at Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can get it in there. It looks pretty good, right? It's um, itchy, but it's looking good. And the scab fell off by itself. I did not pick it. So I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> and hopefully... I won't do anything stupid and tip over on my bike again. Hello, Jenna. Hi, Michelle. Welcome, Deb. Yay, someone is throwing angry faces. Uh, well, it's probably meant nicely. <laughs> or a mistake. Nobody should be angry with me. All right, I'm going to put these back here so I don't lose them. And um, our layout challenge, I'm going to put that right over here in the basket that goes with that card. Now, um, are we ready to stamp? I think we're ready to stamp. Brody's watching. Brody. Hi, Brody. Brody was here for the party yesterday, too. That's Denise's husband. Um, okay, here we go. I'm just watching all my comments. Yeah, Sally says, I will live. I will live. And I will live well. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are going to be using the Path of Petals. Uh, I think I used this a couple weeks ago. It is a beautiful stamp set. And then the petal label dies are really, really cool. And I've shown you guys a couple cards with this. And then we're also going to be using this amazing, gorgeous pressed petals paper. Yeah, I made up a really fun card. So a lot of times the cards that I share with you guys on here are things that I am required to make by the groups that I'm in. And thanks, you guys. Yeah, my elbow looks pretty good, right? I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so the, this particular card that I'm going to share with you in a second... I am part of a sweet project group. And there are a whole bunch of demonstrators in that group. And we each choose a suite of products and all the products are featured, okay? So all the suites in the catalog, well, maybe not all, but most of them are featured in this sweet project group and it's a virtual group. So what I had to do was come up with a card and um, then I have to type up a project sheet, take photos of it, and Brody says, made my day, yay. <laughs> and then I share it on this virtual Facebook group. And then I have everybody else's projects there too. So what I'm telling you, why I'm telling you this is because if you order the pressed petals, or path of petals and the petal label dies from me, I can send you a gift of, I think there's six or eight different projects using this bundle 
with all the project sheets and all the dimensions and the ingredients and written instructions. So it's like very cool. And it's just one more thing that I can offer you as my customer as a thank you for um, keeping me in business. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to flip my camera around. Oh, and Becky says, how did you fall off your bike and how is your hubby? Um, we talked about Steve a little earlier. He had a rough day, but he's doing better now. And um, I just tipped over on my bike. And so what happens is my bar on my bike, you know, the bar, like a, a man bike, the bar goes straight across, but on a woman's bike, it goes down. Well, my bar is kind of tall on my bike. And so I stopped abruptly and then I went to get off my bike, but my foot kind of got caught on that bar. And then I tripped a little bit as I was trying to get off of it. And I just tipped over and I got road rash, you know, cause I hit my elbow on the ground. So thank goodness this is my right hand, right? Like, thank goodness I didn't break my arm because then I wouldn't be able to stamp. So I need to be more careful. And it was really just a stupid thing that I did. So Trudy, thank you. I do have my phone plugged in. Um, I am having more te technical difficulties than just being in Facebook um, probation. My charger for my laptop, which is sitting right here, is got me at 3% and it's plugged in and I don't know why my computer's still on because at 3% it would usually shut off. So um, I need to go tomorrow, take my, my baby to the doctor, um, not Steve, my computer, <laughs> and figure out if it's my port that's not charging or if I need to buy a new charging cord and that just makes me sick because they're like $100, meh. Right? So anyways, um, I'm having some technical difficulties, so I hope I'll be able to keep you guys on the screen here tonight when I flip this phone around. And I'm going to bring you up right now so that I can see your questions on here. Oh, I was just laughing. <laughs> it's weird to watch this and then look at that because it's a little bit delayed. So my tap, it, I do match my walls, don't I? This is like the cutest little shirt. Ready? Um, it does this over here, and then in the back, it's like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I went shopping because all my clothes are too big. I actually went out shopping and bought some new jeans because my husband said I had these jeans on, and they were, like, so baggy. Most of my pants I can pull down without unbuttoning or unzipping them right now. <laughs> so I need to go. I need more clothes. I need new clothes. Anyways. Okay. Thanks, Heather. Heather says she loves my hair. I um, actually wasn't going to do it. I was just going to wash it and, and be good. But then I thought, oh, then I'll just look crappy, right? <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Hang on. We're going to turn you around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And where's my little button? There it is. All right. We are going to start some stamping tonight. I'm going to unmirror my screen so I'm not backwards. Hang on. There we go. Okay, I have a new host code. So if you are placing an order, this is my new host code. It is still the August host code. And I will probably use it a little bit maybe into September. So I just wanted to let you know that. You can always find the current host code when you go to my blog, which is this address. In the right hand column is the, it'll say August host code, September host code. That's the current code that you want to use when you're placing your order. Now, you're only going to do that if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have all of those rewards. Okay, I am going to see what I can do here. Hang on, because I need to move my laptop where I can actually see it, but I don't want it taking up all of my screen room, right? Yeah, it's still at 3%. How am I doing? Okay, so that's all right. It's okay if it's right there, right? I need to be able to see what you guys are saying. Okay, thank you guys for the share. Really appreciate it. Spency Rock is asking if this is the costume jewelry auction. No. Nope, we're stamping tonight, so I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I'm using path of petals and also the petal label dies and we are going to be making a gorgeous card I've got a very vanilla envelope here 
And then a Mary Merlot card base. Let me move this up so you guys can. And this is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. Then I've got a piece of the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper. Now, I know I've shown you this before, but if you missed it, this paper is a specialty paper. It's much thinner than our regular paper, which is kind of neat, okay? And, oh, that was a troll. That's kind of what I thought there, Kathy. So you guys attack him and get him out of here. <laughs> um, this paper is really different, right? Because you have all these panels here and like, what do you do with them? So I'm gonna share two ideas tonight using some of these panels. Then I'll show you a little bit of the rest of the paper here. It is really, really pretty. It's more like the weight of newsprint. Here's some beautiful dried pressed flowers. That's the name of it, right? Then we've got um, designer uh, scripty paper on the back. Look at this wood grain. That's beautiful with some more pressed flowers. Here's some what looks like newsprint. Look at that. That is just gorgeous, right? And oh, here's another full sheet. Now you get four sheets of each of these, so that's pretty cool. Um, the paper's thinner, they can put more in a pack for you know the same price as other specialty papers. So you're actually, I think you're getting more. Let me look, I don't wanna lie to you. 24 sheets, yep, 24 sheets. Okay, and here's another one. We're gonna be using this burlap side, but isn't that pretty? All of these are pressed, and I think, that is all, ah, hang on, the designs. Yep, I think I covered all of them for you. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Okay, oops, sorry, I just hit my camera. And I can't get this back in there. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so we're gonna be using this burlap, and that is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of very vanilla for the inside. That's also four by five and a quarter and a scrap of Mary Merlot, a scrap of Very Vanilla, and then I got a two inch strip of this gorgeous paper, right? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love this. Um, two by five, and another little piece for the inside that's three quarters by four, okay? So let me get the rest of my little bits and pieces out here. Did you guys take care of the troll? <laughs> I hope you did. <laughs> Get rid of them. Yeah, I've had that happen only one other time. So that's okay. You guys keep commenting. That puts me at the top of the um, algorithms. Yay. It's good for me. Okay. Next, we're going to get ready and make our card here. If somebody wants to report that person, um, Facebook will shut them down. You know, like they keep putting me on probation and then Facebook jail. Yeah. So maybe somebody needs to do that. So here's our new Scripty 3D embossing folder. And I am going to bring in my big shot. And don't forget, with these new embossing folders, Gosh, you guys, I'm so happy. I lost this little spider and I just found it. This is a miracle. It's a miracle today. I was so upset. That's from the holiday mini catalog. So yay us. Winning. Okay. Here comes our Big Shot platform. I'm going to take this burlap side designer series paper and I'm going to put it through the Scripty embossing folder. And this is just something a little different to emboss a pattern piece of designer series paper, right? And I wanna make sure that the side I want the embossing on is up with the Stampin' Up um, emblem logo. Then we're gonna use our new 3D folder and run that through. Now, I hope you can see this in the camera because it's really, really cool. 
Let's see if I can get the light on it. Oh, you can see it. Look at how neat that is. So it's burlap, but now it's embossed too. And I just thought that was a really, really cool thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at all the troll activity. What is going on tonight? Hang on, I gotta scroll up. Yeah, the blue pit the blue plate, Sally, is really, really nice. And for those of you, hang on, let me find my where'd my clipboard go? Hang on a second. Here it is. The item code for that 3D plate is 149658. It's $10 and you need one. If you're going to order any embossing folders from Stampin' Up, you're going to need it. Okay, so here is our beautiful embossed layer. And next we're going to take the two inch strip here. Now, this is, like I said, a much thinner paper and I did want to use my triple banner punch to punch out this end, but because the paper is so thin, it didn't punch very good. And don't, it's not like tissue paper, but it's more like um, newspaper print type weight of paper. Okay, we're going to take this and add it to our burlap layer. I'm not seeing anything that's going on here with the whole troll situation, you guys. So I'm busy stamping, but I take it you are taking care of the situation. And I love you. <laughs> All of you. All right. So isn't that just pretty? It's so, so pretty. We can put this right on the front of our card. And I love the Mary Merlot card base because that really makes everything pop, right? Mm, yes. I'm just reading comments. I'm not really quite sure what's going on but you guys stay on them. If somebody reports them, they will go away. Okay, here comes our scrap of Very Vanilla, and I'm going to take my Mary Merlot ink, and I'm gonna stamp that right on here. And then I've got Mossy Meadow. Now I chose these colors because they are part of the designer series paper. And I've got this little um, kind of a very spindly leaf. So I'm going to stamp off once. And then I'm going to come in here and stamp. Stamp off again. And just bring some of those leaves in close to my thank you. Then we're going to take this piece and cut that out. And this die and cut out um, one of these. I call this like an oval flourish image. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Whoops. Take a drink, what's everybody drinking tonight? strawberry lemonade that I like to drink. It's delicious and it has caffeine in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here is our thank you. Oh, look, it moved on me. I knew that was a possibility. So knowing that I could screw that up, I have extras cut here. So I'm going to try it again <laughs> because, you know, things happen. Stamp off and then I'm just going to come in here I just wanted a little bit of greenery on my oval. So there we go, fixed it, yay. Now I'm gonna add this to that beautiful oval flourish. It's also got stitching on it, which you know, you guys know is really super popular right now, right? And then we're gonna bring in some dimensionals. And I'm going to add this right up here. Now, this is pretty, right? It's, it's pretty, but I wanted to do a little more, of course. 
So I got my scrap of very vanilla here. And Lori says it's wine time. So is Rhonda. Good for you guys. This is just a one inch circle punch. And I'm going to bring in my Pressed Petals Designer Series Washi Tape. And let me see if I can get one going here. Let me grab a pokey tool. This is all just a bunch of petals. And you can make flowers with it. And they're really, really pretty. Now I've got a piece of, or a punched out circle here. And I'm going to add my petals so that that middle goes right into the middle of my circle. And I'm gonna put five petals on here. Now I like to use like, you know, just a pokey tool to get these started coming off of here. There we go. Here comes another one. And I'm just using that circle so that I have a platform to make this a round flower as opposed to some other different weirdo shape. There we go. I'm gonna grab another one here. Now you could of course stack these and make a whole bunch of petals and a whole bunch of layers to your flower, but that's this is the extent of what I'm gonna do. And you could also use your silicone sheet to put these on. That might have been a really good idea, Kelly. <laughs> but I didn't. All right, here comes my flower and I'm gonna set my flower right here and then I want one of these designer elements. This is also part of the whole suite of products. Thank you, Luann. I'm not worried about the pigs that have invaded my video. For those of you watching later, we've got some people that are making comments and I'm not even looking at the comments because I'm not even gonna entertain them. Um, but thank you guys. <laughs> it is what it is. It's Facebook Live and things can happen. There's not much you can do about it. Okay, next we've got the inside of our card. And what I wanted to do to the inside is I want to stamp the greeting because I love this. I love this saying and I love this font. And it says, your kindness has touched my heart. And isn't that oh so pretty? Yeah, love it. Then we're going to add this to the bottom. And there we go. I got a little bit hanging over the edge here. We're going to finish this off. Isn't that so pretty? It's just so very pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, right? Then we have to do something with our envelope. And I think what I'd like to do with my envelope, I'm just going to put some of these sprigs on it. Just like that. Fabulous, right? This paper does it all. I mean, I don't think you could make something that wasn't really pretty with this paper. Yes, you do need some of that washi tape. <laughs> it's um, it's pretty cool. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this stuff away so I can get out the next card. So as I made this card, of course, then I had this paper out and I'm like, oh, well, I should do something with some of these, right? So that's where I went with this. And we are gonna do something with some of those at least one of them that I can remember. And I think we're still gonna use that stamp. So let me put this stuff away and I'll bring out the next really cool card. Oh, yes, it is. Here comes my bits and pieces. Oh, let me put these away. Now, you guys know that all the dimensions for my cards are going to be shown above the Facebook video, if I can get it in there. I've been having a few problems with that, too. Everything's a challenge lately, I'll tell you. 
bringing out the daisy punch. You guys are going to love this one. And here we go. So this comes from the Daisy Lane stamp set. Let me grab it here. This is the stamp set. This is where these daisies are coming from. You guys know that we have a big daisy punch and now a little daisy punch. So that's where I'm getting this from. Our card is going to be Daffodil Delight. Delicious. My card base is five and a half by eight and a half. We're just going to fold it and burnish that edge good. And then I've got a scrap of Daffodil Delight. And we are going to cut out a rectangle from the rectangle stitched framelits. Now, if you follow me, you know that I have numbered these. So the four that are over here on the side are A, B, C, and D from the small out to the large. So A, B, C. We're using the number C die. That helps you so you know which one to grab when you want to recreate this card. We're going to die cut one of these. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that. So here's our rectangle. And that's Daffodil Delight also. And then I've got a very vanilla envelope, a very vanilla layer for the inside and a scrap of very vanilla. I'm just going to take this little daisy punch and I'm going to punch out two daisies. Then I'm going to take, hmm, let's see. Oh, I know what that's for. I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight ink pad and whoops. I want the big daisy for this one and I'm just going to stamp it like this because we're going to bring in this half inch circle punch and we're going to punch out that center. And that's what we're going to use for the center of our little daisies here. Am I still in the frame? I'm getting kind of low on my desk here. I need to make sure I can, you guys can see what I'm doing, right? Okay. And then this little one is just going to go in the center. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. All right, we're going to take that same greeting that we used on the last card that says, Your kindness has touched my heart. This is soft suede ink. And I'm going to stamp right in the middle of this rectangle. Now, I told you that this card was... Um, um, a play off of the last card that I made and it is because we're going to use this panel right here so as I pulled out this pack of paper to use I'm like oh I should do something with these right so that's how my idea came about so now I'm going to take this and put it in my paper cutter and we're going to cut that move this out of the way here Okay, and I'm missing some of your comments because my screen, once again, isn't scrolling. And we're going to start over here at this side, and I'm going to cut this now. Right up to here. And then all the way down here. So now we have two different panels. We're going to be using this one. Now I need this to be four inches wide. So I don't want to take it all off of one side. So I'm going to take some off of one side and turn it around and measure now to four inches and take it off the other side. And then I need to make sure that this is five and a half and it does appear to be five and a half by four. Whoops, I just hit my light. All right. Are we ready for the magic to happen? This is a really super easy little card. I'm gonna add this panel to the front of my Daffodil Delight card base. 
and I'm just leaving some strips on either side to see that yellow card base, okay? Then we're gonna take this and add some dimensionals. And here's our little daisy coming in. This is gonna go right here. I'm gonna take my daisy and I'm gonna glue it down right here. Just like that. Here comes our greeting. Angela says she just is finally catching a little bit of my live show. Well, I'm so happy you're here, Angela. Thank you. Luann, so what you do is you, I think you can click on this on the um, person's name that's causing problems and you can then go and report them someplace. I believe that's what you do. Okay, isn't that pretty? We're not done because of course I wanted some type of a little embellishment on here. So I'm going to bring in my bow jig and my white baker's twine and I'm going to wrap this around three times. If you guys would like to get your hands on one of these bow jigs, you have to email me, not Facebook message. I need your email address to forward to my friend and she'll get in touch with you and tell you all about them. I think they're like $5 with $5 shipping. They're pretty inexpensive, but this is a, just the perfect bows every single time. Okay, then I'm gonna put a little mini glue dot right down here at the bottom and add my white bow. We have to finish up our inside now. And I decided to use the other, um, there's two rolls of washi tape that come in with the flower petals. Where did those go? Mm. Does anybody see the washi tape? Oh, here it is. You get this one and this one in a pack. And this is a really interesting looking washi tape. It looks just kind of shabby chic. I really like it. And I decided a good place for this would be across the top of my inside layer. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of vanilla peeking out up there. And you could trim off the ends. I'm just folding mine over like that. And then I wanted, um, where'd my, hang on. I wanted the, this little daisy comes in that daisy lane and I'm going to take that and add it with some soft suede ink right down here in the bottom corner. I know I'm kind of flipping through this fast, but I'll show it to you in just a second. And then I wanted to kind of color the inside of this with my Daffodil Delight marker. Isn't that cute? That's just a really nice little inside. So that's what you guys can do with these panels. You dress them up with some little embellishments and make them extra special. Now, we've still got an envelope here. And I think what I'd like to do with that is stamp another one of these. Well, I think I'm going to change my color. I'm going to clean this off, and we're going to go with Daffodil Delight. Woo! almost blew that, didn't I? Right here. There we go. Pretty, pretty. So don't forget to order your vanilla envelopes when you're, um, if you're going to place an order, because it's really nice to have the matching envelopes to go with whether you're using white or vanilla. I like having vanilla when I'm using vanilla. What do you guys think? Isn't that super cute? So you could just do that type of thing with any of these panels. They're really fun to embellish up. And I don't know, I kind of think it's a, a really neat challenge to go, hmm, what can I do with this? Yeah, Sally says it certainly is extra special. I agree with you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna need to keep this. I think that we're keeping most of these because as I made this card, then it 
have had a domino effect into the next card that I'm making. It's kind of the way my whole um, schedule went for this Facebook Live. It's like, oh, I should do this with this set. So now we're going to use the Daisy Lane set again for our challenge card. And what I mean when I say challenge, I've got a layout for you. Is this cleaned? Yes. I've got a layout for you, and you're going to take that layout and make it into your own. So hang on while I bring in the supplies for the next one. And here we go. We can put that away. Don't lose that. Here comes our stamps and our ink pads. Okay. Now, let's move this off to the side. What we're going to do here, this is a piece of gray granite. It's five and a half by seven, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So we're going to just burnish that edge good. And then I've got a whisper white envelope here. Um, whisper white scrap, a four by five and a quarter inch layer of poppy parade, and I've already die cut a circle out of it. I've also taken the stitched or the um, circle layering circle framelits, and I die cut a large scallop out of gray granite, and then a whisper white, as well as the poppy parade. So we have three things going on here. Okay, this poppy parade is not a scrap. We're going to actually use that. So here goes. Um, I noticed that this layer of cardstock has something on it, and I don't like that. So hang on. I need to grab and cut a new piece because, I don't know, there's like some ink on there or something, and that just will not do. So this first piece, this piece of Whisper White is five by three and three quarters, and it's for the inside of our card. We'll get rid of this one. I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, here we go. Gray granite ink and Poppy Parade for this card. We're going to take this beautiful fern leaf. And we're going to use gray granite. So this is tone on tone. And I'm just going to randomly stamp up this layer. And one more right in here. And that looks great, right? And then I think as long as we're doing that... I'm going to do the same thing on the flap of the envelope. So I'm just putting um, that icky piece of cardstock that didn't work out for us on here as a mask so it doesn't get onto the bottom of my envelope. I just tucked it under the flap. I usually use printer weight paper for that, but why not if I have this piece of cardstock that I'm probably going to throw away anyways. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. That's really elegant, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, here comes our inside piece. We're going to pull out that Poppy Parade. This stamp set's really cool because it's got smile and friend, and then the other sentiments is the best moments in my life happen with you, and it's your time to shine. So I've got the smile and I'm going to stamp that right down here. Now remember, this is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to stamp that right down there in the bottom. And then I've got the It's Your Time to Shine, which I'm going to stamp right up here. Oh, and it's crooked. <laughs> I should have stood up and I didn't. So let's do that again. It's Your Time to Shine. There we go. Much better. Then I'm going to bring in this little daisy in gray granite, and I'm going to stamp him right over there. That's just kind of a neat little element inside the card. Here comes that poppy parade layer 
We're going to add this to it. This looks like it's not cut right. So I'm going to trim that off a little bit. Do you see how the margin's too big up here? Yeah, I don't like that. Hang on. it is okay huh it'll be fine okay it wasn't too too um too big now we're gonna take this and put it inside of this card so this is kind of like a fun fold I like these colors together aren't they cool I think they look neat together then we're gonna take these pieces now this piece we're gonna lay right down on our white layer. We want it to come down to the bottom of the white layer and over to the side here. I'm going to add some glue to the top portion and close my card. Cool, right? Then we're going to take this Whisper White Circle, add it to the Poppy Parade Circle, and then we're going to take some dimensionals. And add this right here on the scallop. Don't let me forget to tell you where I got this idea from, too. Okay, next we're going to take the big daisy from the Daisy Lane stamp set. We're going to stamp two daisies. I don't know if I have enough room here now. Hang on. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> and we're going to punch those out. This fits right in here. And this is, um, I think they call it perfectly symmetrical. So you don't have to worry about which way. You don't have to sit there and move your punch around to get it in the right place to punch it, right? Hang on, my crown is slipping. <laughs> That's a little distracting. There we go. All right, and then, as long as I've got this out, I'm gonna clean my stamp off, and I'm going to bring in that Daffodil Delight. Here's just a scrap of white. And I just need that center off this daisy. And the half inch circle punch. There we go. Got my mini dimensionals with something spilled on them. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was not eating in here earlier today. I promise. Honest, I promise. Then glue these two together. Aren't those daisies pretty? That color. I love the Poppy Parade color. This is ready to go on. And, oops, you know what? I forgot something. Hang on. I did this earlier when I made my sample card, too. I'm going to pull this off. Um, I need some Baker's Twine on here. So hang tight. Don't put your circle on yet. So I'm going to wrap this around three times. One two come on it keeps getting stuck three here we go I think I just heard Steve come in and that means he's gonna be trudging up the stairs shortly he has this big wedge that he has to put under his leg and when he goes up to bed, I then bring up his water and the wedge. And then in the morning, he's so sweet, he waits until I wake up. And when I get up, which is like many hours after him, <laughs> not going to lie, I bring the wedge downstairs so he can put it under his leg again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Our baker's twine is going to end up under our circle where I tied it, and that's fine because I don't, I don't care about that. We're going to do a little bow here, again with our bow jig, and I'm going to do one 
whoops, hang on. One, two, three. By the way, there's a video showing you how to use this. And um, yeah, if you do get one or you make one, you can make your own too, they're easy. You'll be able to refer to that video. So you're like, I don't know how to do this because I know I didn't know how to do it the first time I did it either. Okay, here comes my circle layer back. Don't forget to put your baker's twine on first or your ribbon or whatever it is you're gonna put on here to embellish your card front. But now I'm gonna bring in a mini glue dot gonna roll it up a little bit add it right over here and then bring in that cute little bow right next to my circle isn't that already sweet yeah now we're just gonna glue this on here and there we go what is a close color for poppy parade probably red it's pretty close to red. It's kind of a reddish orange. It's a very popular color right now. What do you guys think of that? I thought this was stinking adorable. So I have to tell you that this card layout idea came from Dawn Horsewill. And I just met Dawn at an event in Greenville. It was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator event put on by my upline, Ann Heepner. And Dawn's card used this layout with a totally different theme. It was more a masculine card. And so I got to looking at that today, and I thought, that is just a really good layout to do a layout challenge for, right? So let me show you the other ones that I made. Here comes, oh, I have to tell you about this one first. So um, it's a smile, it's your time to shine. My idea with this card is I'm going to send this to Haley because she starts school in a couple weeks. She's got a brand new classroom coming in. She's already up to like 31 students in her classroom, I think. And um, it is her time to shine again. So I thought what a cute saying to send her, wishing her a good school year, or good luck with her first week or her first day or whatever. So that's what I made this card for. So there's my Poppy Parade. This is my Mango Melody one. And isn't that just pretty? Now, this was gray granite. This is Smoky Slate. I use Smoky Slate here with um, Mango Melody, and this is Soft Suede in the middle. Cute, right? And then I've got another one. <gasps> one of my favorites, Coastal Cabana. My friend Dina says that you know there's a god because there's Coastal Cabana. <laughs> because this is just the most beautiful color. So this is Coastal Cabana with Mango Melody as the center for my flower. And this one says, the best moments of my life happen with you, friend. So I've got smile or friend here. See the difference? So this is my card challenge, and I will have this up on my blog tonight as soon as I get done uploading my video to YouTube. And um, you're going to do your card base. is going to be seven by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So this is your card base. And then you're going to do something with the circle or a square or whatever your interpretation is of this layout. Um, you could put a greeting here, You whatever you want to do. But I'd love to see what you guys make because the last time I did a card challenge, you guys came up with some really, really neat stuff. It was just really fun to see all the different ideas, right? So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And... I'm going to show you guys all the cards that I got. Here are the other cards that we made tonight. And this one. Aren't they just pretty? I think they're just pretty. I love pretty things. You love pretty things. <laughs> okay, let me move all this stuff out of the way. And, gosh, I've got so many things out at once. This is crazy. So happy I found that little spider die, right? I was like, oh, I lost another die. Why does this keep happening to me? Well, because you're careless with your dies, Kelly. I need to pay better attention to them. Okay. Everything out of the way. Now, remember, what did I do? Here it is. 
when you submit a card, you're going to submit it to my business page, okay? That's the page that you're watching right now with this Facebook Live. Um, later, if you're watching on YouTube and you're not on Facebook, you can email me your card and I will enter you in the drawing. And the prize is going to be this brick and mortar 3D embossing folder, which is fabulous. You're going to love it. So somebody's going to win that. And I can't wait to see what you guys make with this layout because it's super, super fun, right? The sky's the limit here. You can make any kind of card you want. You can modify the measurements. You just need to have this kind, this basic layout. So some type of an element over here with a card front that's shorter. That's it. All right. I'm going to show you the cards I got now. I shouldn't say I got because I got, I didn't get that many cards this week. Steve got 500 cards. He didn't get 500, but a lot. Like, I'm going to show you guys the stack of mail that came to this house this week. It was just, like, so fun. Okay, hang on. There's more. Does anybody have any questions for me that I missed? Because um, it was a little tricky tonight. Ooh, I'm hot. Who else is having a little hot flash? I'm going to turn on my fan. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tuppy. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, who doesn't love pretty things? Sally says. You got that right. Debbie's watching tonight, too. Thank you. Yeah, the die some of the dies are really small, and they're easy to lose, right? Well, I lost my circle for... Um, this card a little early, I lost the circle for the white layer, and I couldn't find it any place, and then finally it, it materialized. But, um, oh, thank you, Jill. Jill says, I love learning from creative people like you. I really appreciate that. You know, it's kind of funny. I don't really consider myself to be a super creative person. I'm really good at copying things and modifying them a little bit. That's what I'm good at, and I've, I've done well with it, I think, right? <laughs> Okay, um, Sally, you will get one entry per card. So if you want to make three cards, you'll get entered three times. And the sky's the limit, however many cards you want to make. Um, yeah, I'm just reading through some of your comments here. Where did I find my... When I brought my big shot over to the table, my little spider die fell out. It was like on the plate or something. I don't know, but I looked all over the place. So, yeah, I know, Verna, you've probably never lost a die before, <laughs> right? I know, and Kathy, I do have a magnetic bowl, but I get lazy, and then I don't put it in there. And <laughs> Lori says, holy moly, that's a lot of mail. It is a lot of mail. Um, thank you guys so much. Oh, Lynette says she didn't hear the color that you said, the color for... This card was Poppy Parade, and if you're looking for something close to that, I would say red. It's it's an orangish red color, but you should get some Poppy Parade because it's really pretty, and that's very popular right now. <laughs> the blue pit plate that I used is not in the catalog. Let me grab that. This blue plate came out later than the catalog did. The item code is 149658, Kathy. Is that Cap Chris? Chris asked me that question. So 149658. If you go online to my online store and type in 3D embossing plate, it'll pop up. You don't need the item code. But you just do a search for 3D embossing plate and it'll show up. And I see I've got glue all over mine, which is, you know, typical. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready to show you some cards. Rhonda, you're very welcome. When, oh, that's a great question. Karen says, when is the deadline for the challenge? I'm going to say next Sunday. Next Sunday before, um, let's say, next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So that gives me an hour to do drawings and get everything put together. I'll keep going with it all week, but then I can finalize everything before I go live next Sunday. So 6 p.m. Sunday, that would be... Um, September 1st at 6 p.m. Central Time. Thank you for reminding me about uh, an end time because I oftentimes forget about that. 
Okay, Sandy knows the wedge well. Jo Joseph says Sandy's familiar with the wedge. Yeah, that's that's what I carry upstairs for Steve every night. Oh, Judith, thank you so much. Judith says, fun, fun, fun cards throughout the video. Kelly, love your videos. Thank you so much. You guys don't even know how much I appreciate you. Um, it's you're, you're amazing. You're all amazing. Okay. Um... Let's see, what is your address so I can send Mr. Steve a card? Are you ready? Becky's asking. My address is 738 De Pere Street, D-E-P-E-R-E -E Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. And Menasha is M-E-N-A-S-H-A. And Steve is Steve Atchison. So we both have the same last name. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, here is a sympathy card that we received. Isn't that just pretty? They use the subtle embossing folder in the background there. Oh, this is from my good friend Kathy and her husband Tim. So this, this um, Rooted in Nature, this is an online class that I have actually. I have a whole class on this Rooted in Nature bundle. It's beautiful. And then Steve was very impressed with this one. So hang on, let me see if I can get it back together here. Yes, I can. Okay, so this was tied in a cute little bow right over here. And he goes, oh, there's one in there that does something fancy, he tells me when he hands them to me. Because I give them to him to um, open. It's his mail. I want him to open it. And here is just a fancy little card. Look at this. Steve wishing you a speedy recovery. This is from Gail. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Whoa. Very, very cool, Gail, and he really liked it. <laughs> Here's another one. Beautiful card. Oh, there's some chocolate on it. Um, I might have been eating chocolate. He might have been eating chocolate. The kids brought him a bunch of snacks, too. Thinking of you, Steve. Oh, this is from Tim and Kathy. Oh, so this is a get well card from Tim and Kathy and then a sympathy card because we had so much going on all at once, right? It was just crazy. And then we have, uh, there, this, this envelope goes with Trudy's cards. Oh, I know. Let me see. Nope. Okay. Here's another awesome, awesome sympathy card. This is from my friend, my friend Vicki and um, her boyfriend Mike. Uh, her and Steve and Mike all went to school together. So she always does very simple cards, but they're always really, really classy. I love her style. So very pretty. And then let's see. Here's another pretty one. Love, love, love the brightness of this one. This is from Lori Tibbetts and it is a sympathy card. Thank you, Lori. And here's a, this is a great set, right? Oh, I thought I saw a bug or something, but it wasn't. This is from Elaine Rebeck. So um, Elaine is a sister to one of Steve's good friends down in Fond du Lac. She's also a good friend of mine and a customer. So thank you, Elaine. Then we have a Get Well card. This, I think, was one of our paper pumpkin kits. This is from Shelly Star, and it was a Get Well for Steve. Oh, oh, he was really impressed with this one. I think this is Trudy's card. Let me look. Okay, let me let me do a little something something here. Are you ready for this? He goes, check out this card. Yay, this is from Trudy. A sympathy card. Yeah, so she's got a butterfly suspended from like some very tiny like fishing line. Isn't that pretty? He was very impressed with that. All right. Oh, this one's fun too. Look at it's got golfing and a golf cart. Isn't that funny? Wishing you a quick and toad Ali recovery. <laughs> he thought this was pretty cool. So this is from Luba. Luba, thank you so much. He was very impressed. And then we've got this one. This one's awesome too. Comfort and healing to you. And this is from June Franco. Very cool fun fold, right? With the dinosaurs. Oh, and it wiggles. <laughs> Don't you just love to play with cards? <gasps> then we've got pigment sprinkles from Sharon Jones. And Sharon left this blank so that I can use it. I love your pigment sprinkles. They turned out really pretty, Sharon. Oh, and then what's this, a bill? 
Oh, it's time for my annual mammogram. A <laughs> little bit too much information, you guys. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this was fun. So, I got this beautiful card. And it used that Daisy Punch. And the um, Daisy Lane, there's another stamp set that uses this, too. This was from Carol Smet. And she was thanking me for a card that I sent her and helping her with a problem, understanding her order. And, um, yeah, look at this. She sent me a car coaster, and this fits in your vehicle cup holder to soak up any spills. How did you know that I spill stuff in my cup holder all the time, Carol? I couldn't hardly wait for this Facebook Live tonight so I can open this and put this in my truck. I think this is the cutest thing. And it says... Be sweet on the inside, stand tall, and wear a crown. Love it. Thank you so much. That was just so nice of you. Okay, here comes another gorgeous card. This is from Jessica Schnorr. Jessica is one of my team members. She also works at the physical therapy place where Steve is going for his knee. So I run into her when I'm there. And then, do you guys love, I love the way she used this um, wood paper here and then a different pattern out here. It's really cool. And then here's those um, patterned, uh, what are they called? Party decorative masks. This is what somebody did with them with Life Gives You Lemons. And this is from Claudia Swakowski. And um, it is, yeah, when life gives you lem lemons, chuck them right back. So we had a lot of challenges right at the same time. That's a perfect card. She stamped up the flap of her envelope. Yay. Then we have a card from Sharon Taylor. Look at how beautiful this is. Some masking with that lovely as a tree stamp set. This is gorgeous. And uh, she's actually part of Dina's team. So how sweet of you, Sharon, to send a card. Thank you. Then we have Kathy Rowe. Oh, this is nice, a little note. And sorry it took so long to send this. Um, she lost it in her craft room. <laughs> Kathy is part of my VIP or my online technique club. And Kathy's sending me her rewards form so that I can give her her free loot for fulfilling the online club stuff. If anybody else is interested in that, you can find a button on the right hand column of my blog right here where it says um, online. Technique Club. Click on that. You can get all the details for the club. But look at this. Look at this. Isn't this cool? These leaves and the ouch, ouch, ouch all move around. Let me see if I can get some more light on this. And she took like some yarn and put it around like a bandage around the sloth's leg. That is super, super cute. And then look at this. This is from Jody Peterson. She is a friend that I met um, she actually interviewed me before she signed up under me, and I had a lot of respect for that. We met for lunch one day. She is from Indiana, and she came up to see her dad in Oshkosh, which is just 20 minutes south, and we met and had lunch together. She makes some really, really pretty cards. Jody also sent a sympathy card for Steve's mom that I will be mailing off to her, so that was really super nice, but isn't that fun? That is super cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have another beautiful card. Sending healing thoughts your way. And this is from Lori Schwint. Lori, I think you're watching tonight. Thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the sail away or come sail with me. or It's, it's one of the bundles in the catalog. Here's another cool card on the leaf die with the wood in the background and the bear. This is from Susie Fonder, wishing Steve a quick recovery. Very cool. Then my mother, who's not a stamper, actually made this card because she loves to take pictures. And this is behind my the house I grew up in. This is what she gets to see every night when there's a beautiful sunset. And most nights, there's a beautiful sunset where she lives. So this was um, a sympathy card for Steve's dad. Here's another beautiful card using that waterfront stamp set and some beautiful wood grain. Thinking of you. This is from K Caps. Thank you, K. And check this out. This is fun. This is all different panels of wood grain paper. And then our rectangle dies. These are really popular. If you don't have the rectangle dies, 
it's a good thing to invest in. I don't think you'll ever be disappointed that you have them. So, yeah. This is from Kay Rogers. And um, she's praying for a fast and complete recovery. So, thank you so much, Kay. Look at the frame. These are our new frame dies. This is a bundle in the catalog. I don't remember what it's called. This is from Luann Lee, and this is also a sympathy card and a quick healing for the knee. And isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And here's one of my favorites. Thinking of you. Here's the designer elements that I used on the center of this flower right here. I think this is from Jody, right? Let me look. Yep those designer elements right here. Isn't that pretty? This is again the Rooted in Nature with Blackberry Bliss. This is just so rich looking. She embossed the thinking of you and um, this is a sympathy card. Awesome. Gosh, it... Oh, that's a police car. It sounded like somebody was screaming outside. Bloody murder. Maybe they are. Hang on. Oh no. It's police cars. <laughs> Yeah, that's not funny, but I, it sounded like somebody was screaming. Here's another really pretty card again, the Daisy Punch, super, super. This is from Barbara Stone, and she says, because of you, I have my mojo back again, enjoying my paper craft hobby. I am so happy to hear that, Barbara, and thank you so much for this beautiful card. That is so sweet. Remember this guy? He was from Celebration. Look how cute those are. This one is from Marsha Culbert and Don. Marsha's a friend of mine and a longtime customer. And it says, hope things get better soon. Look how cute the inside is. Adorable. And then um, this one is from Cheryl Thomas. I love this lily. And she did just a beautiful job with it. Another sympathy card. Oh, and look, here's a little bow tied on the sloth's leg where he's all bandaged up. That's really cute. This is from Nancy Ellison, and she says that her brother is recovering from knee surgery, and it looks so painful. Yeah, it really is. I've heard that knees are way worse. Or worser. There's Who's cringing right now? Who are my grammar police? I have heard that knees are much worse than hips, even, and you would think a hip would be a super big deal, right? I mean, I'm sure it's a big deal, but you'd think it'd be bigger than a little knee, but I guess it's not. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, did I even? Yes, Nancy Ellison. Super adorable card. And then we've got this one. I love this stamp set. She just did a little masking here with some pretty color. And that's a really interesting way to make a, some color pop on this card. You are a genius. Who is this? Cheryl Thomas. Isn't that cool? I like that idea. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Oh, here's a pretty card, too. This, look at, it's a fun fold. Boop, boop. Don and Marsha, this is a sympathy card. This is gorgeous, Marsha. Love it. Oh, and then we have a bridge card. They call this a bridge fold, and isn't that just cute? This is from Debbie Lundeen from Canada, and it's a get well card for Steve. Very cool, Debbie. Thank you so much. This lays flat to mail, so that's cool. Here's another one. This was one of our paper pumpkin kits. I love that paper pumpkin. This is from Teppy and Joe. Teppy is one of my new demonstrators from Arizona. If anybody has a wants to buy a house in Mexico, she's got a beautiful home with a pool. She's trying to sell it. So just move back to Arizona. There, Teppy. I just plugged your house. <laughs> and this is gorgeous from Peggy Kennedy. Again, another sympathy card. Isn't that pretty? I love this. That's really cool. Ooh, look at this. This is a great idea. Lots of things going on here. Vellum die cuts. This is really pretty. This is from Pat Perrin. And again, it's a get well card for Steve. Love the card, Pat. This was cute. This came with somebody's... Um, was it Teppy? That's, I don't know, but this was just included in one of the cards. Oh, here we go. It's from Trudy Hudson. How cute is that? Little tiny card. Thank you. It means so much. The little tiny envelope. This was part of our paper pumpkin kit. I adored these. 
Here's another paper pumpkin kit, you guys. If you've never experienced paper pumpkin, I highly recommend it. This is from um, Trudy Hudson in New Mexico, and she did a beautiful job on this. Nice get well card for Steve. Then we have, is this from Jessica? Yep, from Jessica. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And this is a get well for Steve. Yay. Oh, and I think I'm at the end. Was that not fun, you guys? Like, tons and tons of cards. These are all so much fun. I love going through these, and um, Steve really enjoyed them and appreciated them as well. So I just want you guys all to know that he's feeling the love. He's feeling some of the love that I usually, um, I shouldn't say that. He's feeling the love that I get every Sunday night. And um, I can't even tell you guys how super sweet it is. I feel like I have thousands of friends all over the world. And you're just appreciated. <laughs> and Luann says, I'm not your grammar. <laughs> yeah, so Yol Yolanda says that knees are worse than hips. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. And it seems kind of weird, right? Because a hip is like so big. Well, some of our hips are bigger than others. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think... That I am done. And Evan, Siraj, I hope that you can sleep well tonight for what you have done on my video. You're a jerk. And um, yeah, thanks. And thank you guys all so much for trying to get rid of these trolls. Because they're kind of ridiculous. And they need to get a life. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Don't forget to use the host code if you're planning on ordering and your order is under $150. Um, if you did not get a holiday mini catalog, I would love to send you one if you want a hard copy. Otherwise, you can also look at it online on September 4th. That's when the holiday mini catalog is going to go live. I will get this video uploaded to YouTube and on my blog, I will type up all the dimensions for the cards that we made tonight. And also get the deadline and I have dimensions typed up for the card challenge, the layout challenge. I'm really excited that um, so many of you I know are going to do this because it's just super fun. And the last few card challenges I've done have been fantastic. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me tonight, even with the trolls here. I really appreciate it. And uh, have yourselves a wonderful week. I have a blog hop coming up Thursday with the Paper Pumpkin crew. And another blog hop with Totally Techniques on Friday. You'll get my Wednesday tip video on Wednesday. And I'll have this blog post up as soon as I can get this video up to YouTube. So have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.